Rising yeah. sun! Yes! Yeah. Yes! Yeah. yes. Yeah. Rising sun, please! Right, let me see. Right, so here we've Ooh, got it. Box. Can we open it up? Yep, but yeah. I already have. Uh, I've been you, trying you, to you, dig into this box and learn, learn some of the dogs? rules. Yeah. Well, following up on last week's topic where we were talking about learning new rules, I decided to try and challenge myself with sitting down and reading through a rule set and learning it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It did not work. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, I have been get slowly getting to grips. I haven't had much time to really sit down and read the rules lately. Mm. Um, I did manage to get a run through of one, one term with a friend of mine who, mm -hmm. he, we talked about that guy. He is my that guy. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so he, he helped a lot there. Uh, yes. <gasps> but it's oh, they so did them beautiful. In Jade. Well, the some of them are. Faction. Each oh, of like the diff different clans is in a different color. This is the turtle clan. Uh -huh. And they're kind of like Oni. Oh, I Oni love clan. that. Almost like a jade color there. Yeah. yeah. Check those out. Very cool. So are there more in there are boxes? The miniatures, as soon as I open this box. Goodness me, the details on these oh, are you beautiful. Wait. You wait till you see the box Justin currently has. Yeah. Is this the beasties? This is the beasties. Oh my god! <laughs> Warren, Warren, look, look, look at it, Warren. Oh my word, dragon! <laughs> that is astonishing. Look, that's gorgeous. It, it's so pretty. Oh, that's incredible. Look at it. Wow, we. I Holy believe that's the hell. river dragon. Yeah. There are different types of dragons in the game in some of the expansions. Is this an oni or? or that's an oni, yeah. yeah. That's an oni of some sort. Is I've forgotten that there are. The there's pig like, man. Yeah. No, right. There's Listen a, the details on this guy. Well, wait, wait till I finish yeah. this guy. He's, he's not the pig man, but he, he's he not the guy. He does look from, like a pig man. He, yeah. he does look like that character from Journey to the West, but it's. Yeah. I don't think it's supposed to be him. There, there are different on oni there. of different types. Yeah, that's oh, supposed to be one of the temple dogs. One of those ones. That oh, you'd that's see. just incredible. Ben, who was behind this? Was Mike McVeigh involved in this one, was he? Uh, well, it would have been the, the Simon team. So I yeah. think, I would imagine the McVeighs are behind the uh, the model creation. Obviously, the artwork is all Adrian Smith, and the mm -hmm. game is, is Eric Lang as well. So. Oh, right. Uh, Eric Lang, I'm never going to win. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Eric <laughs> Lang games, I just cannot get the meta into my head. So, oh, so wow. cool. This is one of my favorite ones here, the Yure. Uh huh. Yeah. And what what do you know about a Yure? Uh, well, I don't know about much about it in the terms of the game, but yeah. in Japanese folklore, a Yure is a vengeful spirit, and they usually dress in white funeral robes, and their the hair, which traditionally would have been kept tied back, is left loose and hanging. So they're where you get the grudge um, uh, and yes the, yes the ring and all those my little girl does an amazing impression of the grudge with the hair oh, no 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 it is seriously i creepy. cannot imagine savannah like that She's yeah small, is, there, cute, is there more than these yeah is there? there are there's more clans in there oh my word wow they went we... across the spectrum with these mm -hmm. these are really punchy oh yeah so here we have some more yep that's the blue ones are the dragonfly clan yeah. Dragonfly. I can't remember their names, I'm afraid. We'll I can't remember all of them. The red clan, the pink clan, <laughs> and the yellow clan. The pink one are the lotus clan, and they're mm -hmm. the ones I had a, a quick play. The, so the, the red ones are the koi clan. Koi clan. Yeah. The purple, pinky color yeah, uh, are lotus. the lotus clan. Yeah. And the yellow? Uh, bonsai oh, clan. Oh, yeah, bonsai. There is a difference. <laughs> they're not a tree. No, no they are a tree. They are bonsai, a tree. Bonsai, not bonsai. Right, well, what, what's the difference? Oh, no, no, sorry. Bonsai is... Ba uh, yeah. Bonsai. Banzai is what you shout when you're going to crash your aircraft or yeah, something. Yeah, all right, yeah, it's like a, a kamikaze, yeah, yeah. kamikaze thing. Yeah. Uh, the, the locust ones, the pink ones, actually make me do a little fam rage because yeah. they have a really beautiful soul. Each clan has their own Shinto priest, uh -huh. and it, it's called the Shinto priest in the rules. Yeah. And the lotus clan's one is of a man with a fully head enclosed basket playing a flute. Mm -hmm. That's a Buddhist priest! <laughs> Oh, not as no, that's Chinese, isn't it? No, <laughs> well, actually Indian, but In the, uh, that, that style is Japanese. But it's wrong the, religion. The Tibetan monks are Buddhists, are they not? Yes. Well, so that's Tibetan, isn't it? Yeah. It's not, it's not Chinese either, <laughs> is it? So, yeah. Yeah, but, okay. Uh, okay. Yeah. We, alongside those, you want to see more great minis? Yeah. So we've got the expansions. Oh my now, god. I will say, Kulmini or not, sorry, Simon are launching this 
on the 30th of March, so we're getting a really cool, Oh, will you see here. this? Oh my word. Oh my word. More <laughs> monsters! Hang on now. Oh, Ben, you wish you were here, mate. Um, hey, we've got the camera here. You haven't even opened these ones, Ben, so... Or, Sam. So, no, I only took the core box home. Okay. Right, check these out. Look at this. It's, it's definitely the next evolution up from what we saw from Blood Raids. Oh sure. my yeah. word, the, the, the quality is just incredible! But when you've all them dangly bits all over the place, they've just come together so well. They are beautiful, beautiful models. They're I love the ball that this thing's on. Yeah. Yes, so, Ben? Talk, talking about those dangly bits, there's a, a couple of hilarious videos of, of Eric Lang at some of the conventions. With some of the miniatures from Blood Raid and some of the earlier ones from Rising Sun. And he's like, see, these these models, they're so great, they don't break. And so he gets one of the ones with the tendrils and throws it at the ground. <laughs> and it bounces, and he's like, I hope that didn't break. <laughs> it's totally fine, and he was like, oh, phew, yeah, it's great, yeah. <laughs> well, that's one way to put it to the test, isn't it? Hello, Warren, do you remember whenever Finecast first came out? Yeah. You went into the store and the guy was saying, oh yeah, these are totally unbreakable. Warren broke it. Uh, yeah, within seconds, but it, I am very rough yeah. on models, so yeah. it's... Um, just look at that. Yeah. That's incredible. And then we have another. Tammy Unbound set. Oh. So that's each of the... Because in the game you can uh, send priests to worship the different cat army. That's food... I, I've forgotten his name. Fujitsu... Fujin. Fujin. Yeah. God Fujitsu. of the Wind. Yeah. Fu, Fujin, God of the uh -huh. Wind. Uh, that's Amaterasu, who is the main goddess of the Japanese Shinto pantheon. Mm -hmm. She's the Sangha goddess. And who's this dude here? The drummer boy? Uh, I think that might be Raijin, god uh -huh. of thunder and lightning. Ah, oh, come on! This is just too cool. This is just too cool. Now, there is an opportunity to use all sorts of colours. One last one here. We have another expansion that brings two new clans to it. Uh -huh. Ooh. And these are the dynasty... Uh, the Dynasty Invasion expansion. <coughs> yep. If I could open the blasted thing. Right, no. let, let, let's see. There, there, there will be a technique to this. It's often called removing sellotape. Yeah. There we go. There's one. I thought um, the, the usual one was brute force and ignorance. Yeah. There we go. There's two. Well, that worked. There we yeah, go. And these ones, I think, are more based upon uh, Chinese folklore because mm -hmm. they have the seven lucky gods with them rather than the Japanese monsters. Ah. This so, is incredible. Yeah, you'll see the seven lucky gods there at the bottom. There's a dude with a big fish. <laughs> this one here. The god of carp. <laughs> I believe, I believe uh, me and you were, were Sam were talking a little about the game. It's kind of like a, a mix, maybe. A, well, I know that it's an evolution of a, a lot of the mechanics we saw in Blood Rage, but it's also got a lot of stuff akin to Game of Thrones as well. I think. Yes. Yeah. The old, the old board games. Yeah. yeah. Now, I love the Game of Thrones board game. And I did feel a lot of the similarity when I was looking through the rules. It might just be that the fact that you have a little clan-specific um, barricade to help keep your your hands and everything oh, secret. Oh, is this like a, a barrier, dashboard? Yeah, yeah, something like that. It might be that that made me uh, realise it, but it feels like the evolution of that in some mm -hmm. ways. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. Japanese folklore, cool... Uh, Cool campaign style gameplay. Mm -hmm. I loved it. Well, oh, actually, right. Oh. Counters. You, I'm it, not going to start looking at counters. We'll be here right. all day. Right. It's coins. <laughs> oh, no, plastic, plastic, okay. plastic no, coins. Uh, plastic coins this time. Okay, I will show off the plastic bad. coins. Plastic Don't coins be pulling out bad. anymore. Goodness me. Yeah, I will say plastic coins not bad, but I would yeah. love to get like metal coins. Yes, yeah, we know honestly, you're a fetish for metal what, coins. What were the the coins you had when you were across in China? They had that square hole in them. Uh, I didn't. They're not. They're not made like that anymore. Are they not? No. no. You, you you had one. Thing. Oh, no, there is one. There is. Yeah. Um, yeah. I f that's the yuan in China. Yeah. Uh huh. I, actually, tell you what. Here's yeah. one he has earlier. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is a 1916 uh, Qing Dynasty coin I picked up there. As a wow. uh, just as a lucky monument. If either of you two or start whipping out stamps. I'm. <laughs> <laughs> that is a rather nice coin. That is a lovely coin. That's so, a hell so, of a so, coin. 
just just hinting back on the the gameplay just for a second as well because obviously the miniatures looking looking absolutely fantastic but yeah for a lot of people that were picking up blood rage a lot of the inspiration behind that was that you know sort of reinventing risk and turning it into a, like a new style game as well as well as bringing in a few other influences from eric lang's past this one uh takes a lot of the the premise and, and it kind of says that it's the 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 new child in the diplomacy sort of set. So if you you know you like the old game of diplomacy, this might be something that you want to try and check out and, uh, and give it a go as well. But uh, mm. yeah, um, I mean Eric Lang's knocking it out of the park at the moment with his games, isn't he? Really, so yeah. he's yeah. a great he's designer. Fantastic. Yeah. fantastic game. 